Oh man, how do you like your new bike? You like your new Peppa Pig bike? Oh man. You love it? You love it? Oh man. Peppa Pig. It's all about Peppa Pig, people. Hey, check us out. See how I turned this darkness stuffing bike into a Peppa Pig bike. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? What's up, My House TV? So, Savannah's uh, birthday is coming up, and uh, she loves Peppa Pig. So what we have, we have an old Doc McStuffins, Doc McStuffins bike. I'm going to clean up, and I'm going to transform that thing into uh, a Peppa Pig bike. Uh, get some Peppa, make some Peppa Pig stickers and stuff like that. And uh, we bought some Peppa Pig stickers too, so... I'm going to probably try to use that water slide paper to to go on there because it is already white. So, I'm going to get all these little stickers off, clean it up, and we need to get this thing going. So, here it is. Here it is. So, probably what I'm going to have to do is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with the seat, but probably paint over it, maybe white. Probably paint over it white and maybe try to get that water slide paper and go back over it with some type of Peppa Pig thingy. Clean all this stuff here up, get these stickers off. Gotta get all these stickers off here. Oh yeah, they come off pretty good. So I'm gonna get all those stickers off. Sorry, Doc Man Stuffins, but uh, she wants Peppa Pig. So I'm gonna have to take that off. I don't think it really matter not to have anything right there. It'd be all right. But yeah, I'm finna clean this bad girl up. I think we'd be cool keeping that purple. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's good, nice little, yeah, I think I'll keep that purple. So I'm gonna just clean it up, get these stickers off. Um, go get some Peppa Pig stuff. Paint this seat white. And get this bike going. I'm going to show you the progress as I go, right? Alright, so I got all the little stickers off, as you can see. It's real white right there and a little dingy where it wasn't uh, stickers at. See how white that is? So what I'm about to do, I'm going to sand this down a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to just repaint the whole, all the white, white, okay? I'm trying to see if I should... No, I think I'm going to leave that purple. I think that would be pretty cool. But I'm going to get this tire off. I'm not going to mess with the front. I'm going to take that seat off so I can get around it. And I can just put some tape and stuff over the other stuff so the white won't get on that. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing going. All right, got the wheel off. Got the seat off. And uh, I'm about to wipe it down with some... Uh, just some regular um, um, sanitizer wipes just to get it done. So wipe all these pop wells and dirt off and then I'm gonna just I got my hand sander and I got my safety mask. So I'm gonna get all that dust in my lungs and my you gotta make sure you have safety. Get all that make sure all these cleaned up I mean I ain't worrying about that part that's gonna get back dirty anyway anywho I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I'm gonna get this sanding Got her all sand down. I mean, you don't really have to sand the paint off of it. You just have to scuff it up. 
so uh, the paint has something to stick to because if you keep that gloss on there that paint will chip right off because it's not going to stick on there I don't drop the bike <laughs> but got to get the paint and get the painting so this is the paint that I want to grab this uh, Krylon uh, dual paint got it from uh, advanced auto parts I just ran up there and grabbed some stuff so and uh, I just threw some primer on top of this, you know, because I had some some metal showing. I had to clean up a little rust or whatever. So I had to get ready to spray this down. I didn't have the super light gray primer, so or the white primer. So, but let me go ahead and get this sprayed up. All right, so I found somewhere to hang the bike. So as you can see, I'm gonna have to come back over it these little spots here but got that white going got that white going so right now what I'll do I'm about to try to spray this I mean it says it goes on it says it goes on plastic so I mean we'll see so I already scuffed it up you know I just scuffed it up you know nothing major just scuffed a little shininess off and then I'm gonna spray it and see what it comes out like all right, so I just got a light coat on. I stand kind of far away and did more more of a mist on it just to get that that on there. It looked like it's all white when it hit that sun on it. <laughs> but yeah, and then I'm gonna come back and do another coat, real light. I'm just gonna keep doing that until it. I'm gonna have to probably go under here too, so it won't be blue under there. Well, it might not even matter. Kind of look like it's a Peppa Pig theme anyway so I might leave that kind of blue all right I'm gonna show you the finish finish and touch I can't do nothing with with that hole right there I don't think I can glue it or sew it or anything all right that's what that second coat look like it's the second coat so highlight one more coat and uh, it'll be all done it looks good though all nice and shiny I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna probably, uh, probably uh, scuff that up one more time with some sandpaper, with some light sandpaper, not the rough stuff. And then uh, paint one more time over it. Probably put two coats on it. I think I'll be done with that. Alright, this is how it's coming along. What I did, I took that blue there and we painted, uh, painted that white. I got all the white painted up. Um, what else I changed? I think that's pretty much. I just changed all the blue, so it's no more blue on here. I put this. Uh, I had to put an actual Peppa Pig sticker on here to cover that hole because if I were to put anything else on top, it that hole just looked it kind of crazy. Uh, I know I got some overspray on here, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just take a little bit of gas. A little bit of gas will get uh, overspray paint off. All you gotta do is dip a little bit of gas, like that you put in your car, and uh, just rub rub that off. That'll that'll come off. But um, I'm just putting kind of putting it back together, still uh, drying up a little bit. I mean it's it's dry, but I just wanted to cure. And then I'm gonna throw them. I went to uh, Target. And I found the training wheels at Target. Uh, I forgot how much it was. I think it was like $14.99 or something like that. I don't know the receipt go. But yep, got the training wheels. I'm going to throw those on there. Got that wheel over there. Get that wheel. Get that on. And then uh, I'm going to show you what it looked like when we start putting stickers on. Alright, got the new training wheels on. So these are pretty cool because you could just pull this thing out and flip them like that. You yeah, know, that's what they locked. Okay, they locked. All right, they in there. She gonna love this. And just gotta get these stickers on here, and we gonna be in there. All right, I took that little wheel piece off. The little piece that go right here, the little wheel cover. Got that white, and then once that dry, I'm gonna throw some stickers on that before I put that back on. Alright, get my Peppa Pig images. 
ready to uh, print on my my water slide paper. I have the inkjet clear water slide decal paper. So let me see how this stuff works, man. I think it'll be better than stickers because if it rains or water get on it, oh excuse me, it'll be um, it won't it won't mess up. But here. I did one that says Tavana Pig, so put that on there somewhere. But I want to make sure I fill this sheet up because I can't go back and print over again. So I want to get as much as I can on, on this paper because once I print on it, I mean, I'm done. I don't want to have to waste a whole nother paper because this paper is not that cheap. All right, let me get this going and get it printed out and let you see what it looks like. got that printed out so now I'm gonna spray it with this with some top coat because if I don't seal this and put a clear coat on top we once you put water on it is all the ink gonna come off so you have to spray it probably spray it like two or three times and then I'll be ready once that dry I'll dip it in the water and then the paper will come off like a like a uh, one of those water tattoos all right, it's time to put some stickers on. So I got my water from my water side paper. I'm thinking about maybe uh, if I can get Tavana, Tavana pig like right there maybe. I think that would be pretty cool to kind of have it like right here in the front. But I'm going to see. I'm going to cut it out and see how big it is. Would it fit there? But I think that's what I was shooting for. This one right here look, it look pretty good right there as well. So let me cut some of these out and then we can just start uh, placing some of these things on. Hopefully it works, but we'll see. Alright, I think that'll fit pretty cool right there. So let's get that dipped in this water. Uh -oh. Put that in this water. Until there it goes. It's starting to come off. So all I got to do now. Well, let me put a little water on here just to get the back of it wet. And then let me uh, get that on there, move this, and then you can pretty much play around with it where you want to put it at. Uh, let me get that straightened up and then show you. And there it goes. So this is a great way to customize a bike or something like that. You could customize a lot of stuff. Scooters, bikes, like I said, water slide paper. You could print whatever you want. So this is stuff that we teach kids, man. We teach them entrepreneurship. So something simple like this, as uh, I mean, as I was thinking, uh, putting this, putting this bike together. I mean, if you have an old bike, kid, or you see an old bike on the trash pile that's functional still, clean it up, paint it up, get you some water slide paper, put some logos on it and stuff like that. I mean, especially like BMX bikes and all that. I mean, you can throw a BMX on there, or you can get like the little bikes like this and put some Peppa Pig or whatever, whatever characters you think, but hey... I'm all about entrepreneurship, so this is a great idea, especially for kids or adults or whoever, whatever. Get some old old kids' tables. Um, this stuff here sells, so um, we couldn't find a good Peppa Pig uh, that was in the store, a bike. You might have it in your store, but we couldn't find one. We had to order offline, so we had this old bike laying around, which is hanging. So we are just like, hey, why not? Hey, let's just try it, so... It's coming out pretty good so far. Yep, so as you see, look at that. Hey, that's what people do anyway. They put like a little sticker on there. And that looks good, man. Look, it was a Doc Mix stuff in this bike. Now it's about to be a Peppa Pig. So let me cut out the rest of these and get them stuck on here. Alright, so I got all my water slide paper on it. It came out pretty good. Right? It came out pretty good. Look at that. It came out pretty good. Look like we just got it from the store. I mean, not not with the dirty tires, but you know what I'm talking about. 
but yeah so what I noticed I think white will work best but I mean it's still kind of showing uh, behind that purple I mean overall that looks good that looks good she's gonna be excited got the training wheels going so And again, I use water slide papers, inkjet water slide paper, because I have a inkjet computer uh, copier printer. I mean, so if you got a uh, laser printer, they have that for that as well. So all you got to do is just print it out on that paper and uh, get it in that water, and they come and put it on there and kind of let it dry. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching me get her bike all together from Doc Mint stuffing to Peppa Pig. Alright, mom just picked up this pom-poms. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to just cut some of this off. Uh, throw some tape around it. And then uh, put it inside the bike. I already made one. So it's basically what it looks like. So, you get the little pretties going on. You know, I, I just I just had to keep pushing this in. I mean, the hole was, wasn't that big, but it's in there now. It won't come out, so I'm glad that the hole is pretty small. But yep, that's what I did. All right, so I got these cut. And basically, I just got some of this tape here, just some regular packing tape. Like I said, I just throw the tape on here. And I just basically just just wind it. Pack it real tight. Wind it real tight so I can be skinny so I can be able to go in the hole. Yeah, so I'll just keep doing it like that. And then once I get it on there, just cut that tape. And that's it. And I'm just going to put it in the bike. Just going to put that in the bike and that'll be it. Alright. Van, go over there. All right, this is the finishing touch. There we go. Look at it. All right, so that's it. Now we're going to put the bike in the bike. All right, so what I did, I ended up taking that sticker, taking that uh, big sticker off, and got some water slide paper and printed it on the top. Uh, I think it's called Cosmic Cream. Yeah, 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 painted it white over it and then I came back and put that water slide paper on so I'm gonna put some of these little flowers and butterflies on the side to, to com complete the seat and probably in the front or whatever and we'll be all done all right look at it I got that thing all colorful so the cool thing about this water slide paper is like when it kind of stay here for a little bit before it dries all the way you can uh, stretch it all right thanks for watching and hopefully this was helpful to you all and uh hopefully you enjoyed the video but the last look at the bike there we go look at peppa pig we got some peppa pig stuff as well look at that lunchbox and there it go what i recommend too before i go is uh make sure you just throw a, a nice clear coat on top of the the water slide paper when you get it on so it won't uh, fade and uh, when the water hit it it won't fade the color out alright thanks for watching see y'all next time